privilege to sit down with Michael Dolce. So, mate, for those of us who don't know who you are, I don't know what you do, could you just please tell us? Um, well, I'm a working musician, guitar player here in Sydney. Um, just playing in different uh, situations you know, around town. Uh, fortunate enough to be on the, the Voice Australia at the moment, and we're in season three, just about to finish up on that one. And, you know, whatever else sort of comes in, I'll sort of go with the flow, you know? That's fantastic. That's really cool. Actually, the first time um, that I heard about you was actually a poster in Charles's um, Cilio Guitar Factory. Okay. And I went on your website and I looked you up and you had some awesome tutorials. Oh, thanks, man. Um, and I actually learned some of the leaks. Oh, I was cool. Like, I was like really into Fusion at the time. Yeah. Um, and then I listened to your solo stuff and it's really different to what you end up playing on The Voice, isn't it? Yeah, oh, totally different. Yeah. yeah. I suppose, you know, with shows and any any type of artist that you play with or any, any situation, you know, when you're when you're put in the back there and you've you've got to pretty much play what's what's required for the gig, you know, and, mm. and it all sort of comes down to discipline, you know, making sure that you you're doing the right job for the right situation. Yep. Um but yeah, there's always a time and place for the fusion sort of stuff. You know, it's um it's, it's something that I love playing and that's where my heart is, you know, the instrumental uh, style of music and um, things like you know playing on the show really helps me a lot as well because like I said you know the discipline side of things like that mm. it really makes you hone in on your timing and and, and stuff like that you know which um, with with stuff when we're doing uh, recordings for the iTunes releases and stuff like that uh, all of it is live so we've got the band in the room like old school style wow. playing and we all, you know, hear the, the one, two, three, four at the start, and away we go. And uh, more times, um, uh, the, the, the more times we sort of get into sort of doing that, um, obviously it gets a lot easier as, as time goes on, especially from season one coming to season three. Um, you know, I remember going in there the, the first time, I was really scared, thinking, my goodness, you know, I'm so used to doing sessions where you go in there and, you know, and you, you'll play a verse and you stop, let's play the chorus yeah. now. I'm thinking, yep. wow, you know, I know what I'm like live, you know, I, I, I consider myself a relatively solid player, but, you know, there's a lot of things that slip by when you play live, but <laughs> not here, so that yep. was that was a thing, because you're under the mic so I was a little bit worried about that, but as time rolls on, you know, you get used to it, and, and that definitely improves in your playing, and, and, that, and that's the way I see that, you know, I see... Yeah. Doing something like that has really helped me out in that in that way, and, and it's opened my eyes up, especially with that type of style of recording. You know, the old school style where yeah. you know everyone's in the room, when away you go, sort of thing. And I think I think it's like a different vibe. You get kind of a different quality of performance that way, don't you? Oh, totally. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the thing is, is that when when you've got someone engineering and doing their thing, yeah. you know, the studio, and you all you have to do is concentrate on your playing. That's right. It, it just brings out something special, something different in your playing. But when yeah. I'm at home, you know, recording myself, it's like, oh my goodness, you know, I'll do that again. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Everything's under the microscope, That's but it's like true. it's worse. And I think a little bit harder on myself when I'm at home. Mm. But when you're sort of in that situation, everyone's playing and you're vibing. That's right. You're creating a different, and, you know, more, more like I said, um, with, with that type of recording, we'll probably do about two takes, you know, two, three takes maximum from start to end. And every take will be different, slightly different vibe with the drums or slightly different playing in my, on my yeah. side and different feels and stuff. And, and you just got to go with it. And, That's actually you know, funny you, you say that because I was listening to some um, old school Miles Davis and they'd um, actually release on the album uh, take two and take three of the yes. same song. And it's really just different. Totally different. Because it was all improvisation. Yeah, exactly right. It's kind of really cool just to be like, oh, wow, these guys just went in. And just play with each other. Yeah, and they released it exactly. Yeah, and and I'd love to sort of go back and, and hear, yeah, you know, even when you're sort of doing your own thing, you know, and you go yeah. back and you start checking out the tracks and you're thinking, what's this take, you know? Yeah, hear it back and think, actually, that wasn't too bad. But yeah. you remember thinking at the time, well, that was rubbish, and yeah. I put that yeah. one on there. But then you hear it back and it's fresh, and wow, okay, I should have used that. That's right. So I think it's what you're feeling too at the time. Mm. You know, what you perceive as good and what is bad. You know, because so many times I do a gig thinking, I walk away going, wow, that's. I, feel, I really feel like I played well tonight. Yep. And, you know, someone may have recorded it. I had a listen, and I think, great, I hear it back. And I'm, that's shocking. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hate what I did that night. Yeah. But then there's nights when you're playing really bad and, and you hear it back and you think, wow, that actually is some special moments in yeah. it. Yeah. So I think it's 
I think it comes down to the way you're sort of feeling as well at the yeah. time with that whole thing. But yeah, that's true. I think also, what do you notice? Because personally, um, being a guitarist, I noticed that like confidence affects the way you play it too. So yeah. like you said, season one, you're kind of nervous. Yeah. Um, and then going through season two, and now you're almost finished season three. Yeah. Um, have you noticed that there's a difference um, in your confidence levels, and how does that affect the way you perform and play? Yeah, well, that, obviously going into season one, you know, there's all these elements of what's going to go, what's going to happen on this show. I don't even know what I'm in for. Yep. So, you know, how's my gear going to sound? Yeah. You know, am I going to stuff up on the show? All these negative thoughts that yeah. go through your head before yeah. you even start. And, you know, I've said it a, a fair few times in various interviews where, you know, I, I just didn't want to do the show because I, they were the thoughts that were going through my head at the time. And, and I was just like, wow, I don't think I could do this. I'm not that player. I'm not that type of player. But with a lot of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Encouragement. <laughs> Encouragement from, that's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Encouragement, you know, from the musical director who was, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He he really sort of pushed the issue of, mate, you you really got to do this. Yeah. Because there was many times and many conversations where he, would, I would say, look, you know what, I don't want to do it. Yeah. It took about three months of convincing, but it finally came around. Yeah, well, I thought. <laughs> and I'm glad I did it. And, yeah. you know, getting back to your question, you know, going into season two, you know, I changed my equipment. I went from using, you know, real amps to a simulation, which is the Axe effects that I use, um, which is an absolute monster of a machine. Yeah. It does what the amp does and much more. And it's really stick. It sounds great in the mix. I use that for the iTunes recordings and everything. So that built a little bit more confidence in my sound because I could tweak my sounds and I still do tweak my sounds from my own studio at home. Yeah. Then I'll get on set and hear it in my ears, and it's exactly the way I'm hearing it. There's yeah. no middleman to put the mic in the wrong position, or mm. you hear it different, comes across different on TV. So that's taken that um, negativity yep. and brought in a positive sort of thought and a, a little bit more confidence in that as well. And the playing side of things, I was pretty happy with what I did in season one, um, but as season two came in, and it, it, it's almost like someone's written the script because as each season clicked along this has been getting some real we've been getting some real hard songs thrown at us yeah. you know acoustic white you know finger picking style and, and i'm not great at that sort of stuff so <laughs> when you're in front of the cameras and and you get those intricate little finger picking things it really it's it's quite a a fight you know with your inner inner conscious thing going you know, you got to stuff this up. You think, mm. No, I'm not going to stuff this up. Mm. And it's this constant thing. Up to the point where the click goes, it's weird because it's all the build up of pressure beforehand. But as soon as that click, and you can hear the count in my ears, I almost go into this calm state. Yeah. And I'm fine. So I'll sort of play play through the song. It's it's weird because it goes through you go through this wave while you're playing <laughs> it. You know, people don't know this, but. Um, You'll, get, you'll play it, I'll play the first four bars and I'll feel so relaxed and I'll go to the next four bars and I'll start tensing up a little bit. By the time I hit the twelfth bar, I'm thinking, oh, why am I feeling so tense now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I start relaxing again. It's weird, you just go through these motions. But um, definitely by season three now, getting to the end of season three, um, it's definitely, there's a confidence there of, mm. I've done this so many times that uh, you still have that sort of nervous energy going through you before the show starts and before you have to play a song or before you have to play a show. You still get that, you know, you never lose that, but you learn to control it and you just know you're going to be all right by the end of it, you know. Yeah. And that's what I keep telling myself. It's like, why are you getting worried about, you know, play this song? <laughs> yeah. You've done harder ones, why are you... And, and it is an inner battle of just talking to yourself and also, too, like... For three seasons in, you'd have a bit of a chemistry with your bandmates too. Oh, is that trust, totally. Is that trust that would be there? Oh, well, that, see, that's the other thing that made it a lot easier to sort of step into a situation like that because we all knew each other. Mm. And we had played in different um, and various styles of um, touring acts and stuff like that. So we had all we all knew each other. We were all good mates. So we, we literally, when we got in that room for the first time, it was just jokes from the word go. and. And that, that was that pressure. But I think if I was to walk into a situation where I hadn't played with the musicians, it would have been a lot more tougher for me to yeah. sort of accept, well, you know, I've got to do this. It would have been easier for me to say, well, you know what, I don't want to do it. Mm. But because my mates were there and we're all in the same situation and we're all going through the same thing, I think it was like, you know, just 
just do it, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and have some fun with it. And, and we have been, and it's been awesome. It's been, there's a lot of, um, one of these days I'll, I'll, I'll put up a YouTube little compilation of uh, yep. back, backstage antics, you know, oh, that's awesome. fantastic. classic things and that's... classic practical jokes that, yeah, are, yeah. that are on video. <laughs> yeah.